everyone this is Sanjay and this video is for I experience I have created a simple crude app using react.js as the front end and firebase as the back end let's see how it works and dive into the code later so I'm gonna add a student so when I do you can see the router changes to add and I'm gonna randomly put some values to it and there is an option to add another student and I'm gonna add the next student Cool, that's enough for me. I'm going to my home and see if you could see the values are fetched from Firebase. Yeah, we have basically read it. So let's say I want to know more about this user. I get all the remaining details I've saved there. And let's say I want to change the name of this person. Update. Cool. And let's say I want to delete it. I don't want this person anymore. Wow, and let's say there is also another detail, and I want to delete the whole bunch of people in this list. So smooth, we have deleted, added, read it, and even created this student. So, yeah, how did we do? Let's dive into the code. Before that, this is the Firebase I've used and basically you just need this google service.json which will give you all the needed values to set up your firebase so i have set up my firebase details here and i have a service to do all my firebase work so i'm pointing my db to admission and i have des desired functions to do all the work get all would fetch get the db access create would just push it to there update would update the key according to the key delete would go to the key and delete the whole thing and delete all would de just delete the whole value simple as that and normally the, uh, the normal default react setup would call the index.js which in turn calls the app.js here i have mentioned admission as my default one and add is when you, are, you saw when i clicked add a new student so let's go into student list which is my main one and this state you see here in react is considered as the private to this react component yeah the student list is a component and the html contents for it is accessed through this render function so whenever this function this student component is called this render function gets executed which in turn returns all the necessary data and the main thing about this component is that the component did mount is like called whenever this component is created so which in turn calls my firebase get on on value gets all the data after getting it let's say the response it makes a for loop of it i am taking the values as i need and i'm using the set state the set state is nothing but it calls our render function whenever the state state is initiated it's basically right refreshing the component so once your component let's say when at the first when your component is rendered you get you get empty data so when you do set state it sends you the data object which is in firebase and you populate it that's how it is and basically remove all function just calls the delete all functions of all and let's see the add one which we saw is routing to add function and which in here I'm getting the same it's same component here same same uh, functionality here as well I'm getting all the data I'm saving it every change I'm look, uh, doing it and once I click save button I'm just taking all this data and put, pushing it to Firebase that's it 